Hey, it's Duke here at Duke's RV, and today we're going to take a look at this 2023 Fusion 429. It's a triple axle toy hauler from Keystone. A little windy and loud by the freeway, so we're going to go ahead and go inside and take a look at some of the interior features. And I may come back outside at the end of the video, but I'm going inside to get away from all the noise. There's Interstate 10. Everybody just buzzing by. We're exit 737 here. All right, so we're inside. Let's get a better perspective here. So this one, it's got a L-shaped sectional right here. This is kind of a one of the stars of the show. It's got a uh, recliner right there on the end. Well, there's a recliner on each end, but there is an L-shaped sectional. And then you also have a uh, theater seat right here with two, well, two theater seats. And this is some nice looking furniture. So uh, let's get a peek at what this rig looks like from over here. Let's just get some perspective. So obviously the TV's back up right there. So you can lounge right there. You can put get right there, put your feet up, read a book. It's very livable. And you got some counter space over there in the kitchen. So this is a nice floor plan. That's kind of a challenge with toy haulers. When you got... Uh, 15 feet of garage in a toy hauler, 11 to 15 feet. Some of them are up to 18 feet. Doesn't leave as much space, so typically, usually don't have a dinette. You can see that it's got that uh, bunk area up there. Of course, there's some sleeping in the back. So just trying to give you a view up from this angle. Now we're gonna walk over here and take a view from the kitchen. So you can see what it looks like there. All right, and there's a little bit of storage up there above the TV. And there is a vacuum cleaner, indoor outdoor vacuum cleaner. And you can see it's got a fireplace, a TV, stereo, all the standard stuff. It's got a generator, solar panels up on the roof, solar charge controller. Take a look at this kitchen here. This is nice. So you've got a fair amount of counter space. You got counter space there. And here's some pantry space. Let's take a peek inside there. So you got some pantry space right there. You have those hidden residential hinges. So this is rated for full-time use. And look at this. This is not a sink here. This is just dedicated pantry space on a peninsula. So that comes in very handy right there. A lot of people are doing some full time and extended stay. And then you got this one has a double wide fridge and it will run on uh, propane or electric. So uh, this is set up for some off the grid use with that generator. You got 60 pounds of propane. So that is the beautiful kitchen right there. That's your uh, fuse panel down there. And this one does have the in-command system. So with this system right here, you can control all your uh, your lights, your awnings, your slides, the air conditioner, the heater. You can look at uh, the tank heaters, check all your levels. And what the point is, you can do that from your phone. You can download an app and anywhere you are that has an internet connection in the world, if you're connected, uh, you can put your awning in let's say you're at a restaurant and say hey looks like the wind's picking up we should have put the awning in anyway it's always a good practice in RV don't leave your awning out but you could just uh, slide it in from right there you see it's uh, you want to make an adjustment or a cool front blew in you can kick on the heater check the temperature for your dogs see what's going on so that is a nice feature to have you are connected so let's take a look at it from this side over here I'm standing in the garage looking out into the living area and one of the things you can see is my contact information if you want to pause the screen right there I'm Duke your video host here's some more storage down here there's a couple of drawers storage right there you can't have too much storage on an RV and it's usually a challenge with toy haulers but this does have some uh, pantry space available there's space up there and a couple more doors. Let's see what's inside here. 
All right, we've got a compartment here, two shelves. You leave your oatmeal up there. Some canned foods. I think I'd put the canned foods down lower, maybe down here. Some dry goods. So uh, let's go ahead. And, it's got a residential size microwave, a three burner Fury on cooktop. There's a place you drawer down there. So let's take a look at this garage. So this is, uh, it's got a carpet. You could roll this carpet out if you want this to be carpeted. You've got these tie downs that are connected directly to the frame. And then there's two beds that come down. This is literally two queen beds that come down. You could sleep four people back here very comfortably. Uh, and also the bottom one will make into a uh, couple of seats that face each other and you could put a dinette right in the middle of them or a, a dining table if you want to have a place to have a meal having Thanksgiving on the road or something so you got a TV over here and uh, this has a half bath it looks like yes it does so you've got a well positioned toilet there and a medicine cabinet so if you've got some occupants back here uh, you've got a place you could Set up some storage back here. You can use this for whatever you want. Carry your golf cart side by side. Your Harley Davidson, his and hers, hers and his. Whatever it is, whose ever's and whose ever's. That's the way I've got to get everything right. I'll leave anybody out. Check that out. There's some ventilation. If you do have some toys in here that have gas tanks on them, there's ventilation over there. So you open those up and uh, get a cross draft through here to make it safe. This does have a uh, very solid floor. It's got a 25 year warranty on the floor. Single piece, this whole area right here underneath the linoleum is a single piece that uh, uh, is uh, water resistant. So you don't want to get soft spots, creaking, buckling, things like that. The enemy of an RV floor. So here's the bathroom. We'll take a peek at it from right here. So here's something that I do like. You have two doors right there and the reason that's nice the benefit is when you're in here in your king size bed maybe uh you've got a washer dryer connection there a closet but just getting ready waking up it's not quite so claustrophobic you've got a window right here that's also an emergency exit you have some windows on each side of the bed but look at all that natural light coming in there it really opens it up so you could if you close this uh, section here see how it say if there's just a wall there it changes the whole dynamic all right i'm gonna have to watch make sure i use the right vocabulary i mean you could have privacy you can close that you can close that up but if you're just hanging out waking up it's just uh two people sleeping here or whatever not worried about it uh you could open this up and so you do have a full length mirror right here in this one. There's one right there on this door so you can uh, check your wardrobe, a place for a washer dryer. So this does have the, uh, it has a king size bed on a slide out right here. So that when you have the slide out for the bed, it gives you room in the front for closet space, washer dryer space. So the advantage here is if you've got a washer dryer right here, it's not back in the garage like on a lot of toy haulers. So that gives you more space if you're carrying something bigger or it's usable for something else. If you don't want to have, a lot of times there'll be a washer dryer right there. And so you could use that for something else, whatever you want to. You can put a desk in here, put a, a barber chair, styling chair, do haircuts on the road. Somebody's here for their appointment, they come in that door right there. And you can bring your show dogs. Whatever you want to use this garage. You know what's really cool? It's it's loud out here, but when you open this thing up, this is some pure RV luxury. There is a gate that goes around the uh, patio that folds down and also is a ramp. This one has... Uh, you could close this up and air condition this area. You can close this door, which is clear, or 
tented, you could close this door and have a place to hang out if the weather, say it's 83 degrees and it's nice. But you don't want to open up the whole RV. You could open up this section. You'll have the screen door open. You're surrounded by windows. And then when this uh, big back door is down is a patio and you have that gate, you could have your dog, your Dalmatian, your Afghan hound, whatever you got. Your little chihuahuas barking at everybody. You'd just be having a good time in America. That's the whole idea. Or Canada, wherever you are. This goes out to the entire universe. Hey, thanks for tagging along. My name is Duke. I'm your video host. I'm going to go ahead and take a peek at some of the stuff on the outside. Here's my contact information. But it's loud out there. So, next section of the video. I don't have the correct microphone for... Uh, that I, I have one, but it's... Got a short, I got to get another one. I ran into a little technical issue, but we're going to go ahead and take a look at some of the features on the outside. Thank you so much. Here we go. All right, you can see it's got this solid step that makes contact with the ground. It's got the CRE 3000. Suspension. All right, a little snafu in the production there. I'm going to have to edit this part in. I got an emergency alert about boiling water in Houston. So look at that full body paint. This is beautiful. Got some stereo speakers. This looks like a place for a uh, TV right there. That's nice. Here's your pass through store. Let's see if it's open. So you got some pass through storage here. So you can see it's got a pure sine wave inverter, a 30 amp MPPT solar charge controller, so this solar in this one is state-of-the-art. Keep your fridge going with electricity. If you're out there in the sun, you don't have to use propane. You can keep your propane available. You may be out doing some extended stay. Oh, look at this one. It's got some uh, lithium batteries in it already. So this is part of a special promotion only on select units. So this will, this particular unit, so I'm, uh, I don't want to get any advertising snafus here. It's just on this unit, so just double check. Uh, if we were making a deal, we got to verify what it includes at the time you make a deal. We don't want to mislead anybody. But this one does have lithium batteries included. You see those uh, frameless windows up there. Boy, that's a nice looking paint job there. Got the uh, Kurt Rotoflex King Box right there that means anything to you uh, it's a good kink it's a good kink in there so uh, you have your leveling system here and you have a clear view of that kingpin so it will you can raise it and lower it while you're while you can see your truck this one has a tankless water heater I didn't mention that earlier it has a dedicated little bay here if there's any water dripping here it's not going to go into your storage area there's a light right there you want to illuminate it and then there is another light right here you can see this in the dark no problem You're showing up at night hey I appreciate you viewing my video I'm gonna get a view of it from this side sorry about the uh, camera work that was my finger all right that is a beautiful beast so let's take a look right here. You see it's got a ladder, fully walkable roof. And here are your gas tanks right there. So you have two tanks and a gas pump. So I didn't fold this down. It's kind of hard to get to up there. It's loud out here on the freeway, but it's got an awning in the back. This one is really well equipped. This is a, it's a nice rig right here. If you're looking for full body paint with all the options, this, is, this could be the one. I'll just go ahead and show you the generator. And thank you again for viewing my video. I just stuck this section here on at the end because I want to make sure that you can see the outside. There it is. 5,500. So that one runs on... Uh, it says OG... It's a gas generator, so it runs off the propane. There's your 60 pounds of propane right there. I 
got to double check. Don't want to get that wrong. Could be some of them run off the gasoline, some of them run off the propane. Either way, you can see it's got two solar panels up on the roof. Those are 200 watts each. There is a WineGuard Air 360 for digital TV and Wi-Fi. I appreciate you viewing my video. Thank you very much.